Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for an Easter block printing workshop. I'm Tess from the Arty Crafty Place and I'm going to be sharing with you a few of my favourite Easter projects and some printing tips. So in 2021 we launched our first Easter collection which was made up of a variety of different blocks with Easter themes. So we've got some lovely bunnies, Easter eggs, tulips. So there was a whole collection and they were extremely popular with all of our customers. A couple of our favourite items to print at Easter were some lovely Easter tea towels which made really lovely gifts to give to friends and family. So this one was with a very pretty Easter bunny design and tulips. Also another one that I've done new for this year was the Easter bunny with a carrot. So that includes a couple of blocks from our fruit and veg collection and they work really well with the Easter bunnies. And then one of my favourite ones was little Easter bags. So this is what I'm going to be showing you how to print today. Now these are lovely if you're gifting Easter eggs or if you've got an Easter egg hunt coming up. These are really lovely to give instead of baskets or kind of throwaway bags. So this is something reusable that can be kept. For this project, I'm going to be using our backwards bunny and then our two tulip designs. So these are both really good for using all year round. And I'm going to be using some dusky colours. So I've got Indian Aqua, Slate, Violet and Khaki. So those are the colours I'm going to be using. So if I pour a blob of each of my colours out, and I'll be using sponge dabbers for this project because I'm going to be doing two colours, that makes it much easier when applying the paint. So if I tap my dabbers in each colour, and just make sure that before you print, you've practised all your designs. Now this is the design I'm going to be showing you. So as you can see, I've got the lovely bunny in slate in the middle and then the two flowers either side. You could also add to this by adding more flowers either side and kind of build the pattern, but I'm just going to stick with this simple design. So for this project, I'm going to be using one of our medium drawstring bags. This is a really lovely size to add a couple of gifts into and also to be kept, you know, you can keep on reusing it. So what I've done is I've got a piece of paper inside my bag. Now this stops the paint from going through to the other side. So that's really important. And I've also folded my bag in half and then in half again to create a center point. So I've got the crease lines here. So I know exactly where the center point of my bag is so that I can line my blocks up correctly. So I'm gonna put that paper back inside. And then first off, we're going to start with the bunny. So we're going to put the bunny directly in the middle of the bag. So you just want to line it up properly. And you can also bear in mind whether you're going to be adding a name or anything after to personalise the bag. So you can always shift the bunny up or down, whether you're going to add something else. And we'll print the bunny in the middle first. So I'm going to apply the slate grey. And I'm going to print this directly in the middle of my bag, just making sure I'm lining it up properly. And then give that a good wiggle. So side to side, up and down. These calico bags are a little bit thicker than some of our other fabrics. So you might want to hold the block down for a few seconds longer. So the paint takes. So there we go, got my lovely bunny. And then I'm going to do my flowers. So what you can do is always place them down first so you can see where you're lining them up, making sure you're happy with the positions. My bunny's a little bit wonky, but that kind of just adds to the charm of it. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to do this one first. So I'm going to lift that up. And again, using the sponge dabbers, because I'm doing two colours, that's really important that I'm getting a nice colour mix. So I'm going to use the dabber and then I'm going to do the top in the nice Indian aqua. So by using the dabber, you can see, you can be really precise with where you're putting the paint. So I'm getting a nice clear definition between the two colors. And I'm gonna angle this tulip slightly, give it a good wiggle, again, holding it down for a few seconds longer, making sure you're getting nice contact between your block and your fabric. 
lovely. And I'm going to do the same again on the other side with the khaki. And this time I'm going to do violet on the top of my tulip. And you can really personalise this with whichever colours you'd like to use. I've gone with dusky colours because they feel very Easter and spring-like to me. But you could use nice bright colours instead. There we go. Beautiful. And there I have my very pretty Easter bag. So you could see that I've got room underneath or on top if you want to add a name to personalise it. Or you can keep it quite simple and leave it like this. So if you want to print the other side, it's important to let it dry before you turn it over and do the same on the reverse. Now, this pattern can also be used on a lovely Easter card as well. So I'll show you quickly how to do that. So I've got one of my 15 by 15 square white cards. That will fit the design in really well. And when you're printing cards, it's really important to make sure you print the card open and not fold it over because that gives you a double hard surface. So print the card open. And normally if I'm printing paper and card, I might use acrylic paint. But as I have the fabric paint out, I'm just going to stick with the same paint because it does work well on the paper and card. So I'm going to do the same colours that I did on my bag. I quite like giving matching cards, so I can always give this as an Easter card with the Easter bag, which I'll fill with some lovely chocolates. So when you're printing onto paper, make sure you give it a good wiggle. The paper is harder than your fabric, so it not, might need a bit more pressure. And then I'm going to do my flowers. go and I'm going to angle them the same slightly away from the bunny and just make sure you're quite steady with the paper there is a bit of a slip when you print onto paper so you want to be very careful and not move too quickly then we're going to do a nice purple flower on the other side and it's just really nice to be able to give pretty Easter cards when we launched the Easter collection it was so popular because we hadn't had these blocks before so hopefully you'll enjoy using them this year too. There we go. I had a slight bit on the bunny that was missed off, but what you can do is just touch it up if you ever get anything like that. There we go. And there we have it. I've got my beautiful Easter bag and my lovely Easter card to give this year. So I hope you've enjoyed that and it's given you some ideas for your own Easter projects this year. Thanks very much for watching.